We light this chalice tonight during Kwanzaa to honor black families, culture, and community. Habarigani, what's happening? Nia, purpose. I have on countless occasions recounted the story of my path to Unitarian Universalism and my initial visit at a Unitarian Universalist church. Having stumbled onto this faith saved my life. I wandered aimlessly, unfeathered for years, lost spiritually and without an anchor. All the while, knowing deep in my soul that I needed both spirituality and religion. You, you provided those things to me finally. But as Reverend Derek Jackson said in a UU World article, and I quote, when I became a Unitarian Universalist, it was clear that my history and my culture were not reflected in the worship and religious education. I could connect on the level of my humanity, but my identity was rarely represented." End of quote. Yes, I had found solace and my spiritual home in Unitarian Universalism. However, like Reverend Jackson, I don't always feel represented as a person of color in my chosen religion. Therein lies one of the reasons why I heeded my call to ministry. As a black UU, I felt and feel a sense of responsibility to be visible and to have not only a sense of responsibility. As a black UU, I feel a sense of responsibility to be visible and to have not only a voice, but a space within my choosing faith to help create spaces within our faith tradition where black people might feel welcome. And you, you, I have found the freedom to express myself spiritually. At the same time, I have the desire to be in religious spaces that feel inviting to people of color, to black people. Reverend Jackson continued in that same article and said, at this point, our needs as people of color are broader than our faith can fulfill. But I hope that we can live into our stated dreams and be a faith that is open to diversity in both word and deed, and that I am able to bring my full self, my spiritual worshiping self into our faith. I want to be a part of making that happen. The fifth principle of Kwanzaa, Nia, or purpose, encourages us to make our collective vocation the building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. Mary McLeod Bethune said, the progress of the world will call for the best that all of us have to give. Bethum is right as it will take all of us, all of our best efforts and us collaborating for advancement in the world. And that has always been the case. That's just what it is. It's going to take all of us. It's going to take we, us, including in the work that we do in our vocation, working to bring our community together and for the advancement of the world in general. No one is an expert at everything, just as no one person is a failure at everything. So let us honor the gifts that we each bring to the table and be of encouragement one to the other. As this Kwanzaa principle stresses, all of our gifts should be in the service toward one end, to make our communities, our world better, greater, this work is not easy. This work won't be easy, but it is work that must be done. We all have our part in this work. We all have our part in building and developing each other, our communities, 
And in doing so, developing, building a better world. Let's choose to use our gifts, our vocations, for the good of the community. May we choose to do so. Thank you.